edge you might find some seals basking they've been out feeding this morning they come back find a rock and lay on it to warm up you can tell a seal on a rock because they look like a flattened letter U for some reason when they lay down on the sides the tails pointed up and the heads pointed up but we see a lot of water today so we, we should get to see at least one seal somewhere are we heading up now to a place called Port Bannantyne? In 1801, Lord Bannantyne decided to build a town to compete with Rothsay. He built a pier down the middle of um, Kames Bay. This was to accommodate the steamers coming down the Clyde from Glasgow bringing day trippers. And there's another one just coming up here with a red door here, just on you see the sign out of the Port Royal Hotel and we're going to turn left just in front of this building in front of us we're going to carry on over to the west side now where the beaches are oh, they're doing a lot of restoration work in the estate then yes yeah, still got all scaffolding round you can see part of the old castle there the old house and everything Well, oh, this church coming up in front of us now church uh, it's called St Colmick named after a 6th century holy man who lived on the island Colmac. Now round the island you might see some signs saying Butte Beach Watch and what it is is uh, volunteers go around the beaches every so often picking up the rubbish. Now this beach in particular when I reverse back from turning round you'll see on the beach side what looks like a beached whale or a beached shark it's made out of rubbish collected in six weeks on this beach right folks this is Ettrick Bay if you want to get off and take a few photos or just have a nicotine intake whichever or just have about five minutes here Water to the right then takes you up to the northern end of the island there and once again to uh, the Kyles of Butte. Just a little bit further round you have the Sound of Butte. This is where Loch Fine starts from. Well, the next bay we come to is called Scalpsy Bay. Scalpsy Bay is, uh, has got its own colony of seals there down on the rocks to the right. There is a little viewpoint we can go on to if there's nobody parked near it. Hopefully, if you step off the middle door onto a platform and it shows you the uh, the views from there out to the Atlantic and um, also gives you a bit of information there as well of the island at Scalpsy Bay. Here we are folks, if you want to use the centre door, have a look. The seal should be down the right hand side there, down on the rocks. Be careful and remember to duck your head. Here we are folks, just where the fire thing is here, that's the local shop, cafe, post office. The little pea you can see sticking out there, that's where the young Queen Elizabeth came ashore.
seals there. I can see them already. But just coming up here on the left-hand side where this white facade is here, that's the old uh, Scottish Railways convalescent home. There he is, can you see him? I says one of the churches has been converted into a private dwelling, ladies and gents, and made a fantastic job of it. A lot of these big houses here, folks, would have been built for the merchant ship owners. They'd have been sitting here watching for the ships going down the Clyde, they'd have been to all four corners of the world, into the dockyards, into uh, Glasgow, and they'll all be loaded up with the stuff to take back again. These lovely bungalows on the right there, what a view they've got every morning, eh? You're never going to have anything built there, are you? Yeah, but it's not that good when there's 20-foot waves crashing over the top. The rough weather 